Peggy 12. Welcome to MOBA Mastery number 5, where we'll give you some quick tips and strategies about Guardians of Middle-Earth. In our first episode, we covered the basics of a match. In episode 2, we examined the elements of a battleground. MOBA Mastery 3 looked at the Guardian classes, and episode 4 covered Guardian loadouts. Now we'll look at Team Strategy and how to rule the battleground. Team Strategy begins with Guardian Selection. Choose Guardians that work well together and complement your team's playstyle. Let's look at a match broken down into three stages, early, mid, and late game. Early in the game, lane selection is critical. A common strategy is to send pairs of Guardians towards the top and bottom lanes to secure the healing shrines, while a single Guardian defends the all-important middle lane. Once you choose a lane, it's time to gain experience points, which levels up Guardians, making them more powerful. Gain experience points by taking out enemy soldiers, towers, and defeating enemy Guardians. Stay near your soldiers to gain XP for their kills. When Guardians reach level 5, their ultimate abilities unlock. Achieving this before other Guardians makes for a significant advantage in battle. Mid-game, when most Guardians have reached level 6, is the time to focus on destroying towers and pushing towards the enemy base. At level 6, you can upgrade your own towers to help them defend against attacks, and improve your soldier's strength by upgrading the barracks in your base. Also, during the mid-game phase, Guardians can take out the southernmost powerful creature, the Urukai who provides a significant damage buff to the entire team when defeated. Team up and attack lone guardians while capturing and maintaining shrines. Relics and gems may be active, providing guardians with offensive and defensive enhancements. Late in the game, it's time for guardians to position themselves for an assault on the enemy base. Group together and eliminate any towers that remain in the lane. Identify the most powerful enemy guardians and take them on as a team, temporarily removing them from the action, giving you the upper hand. The most powerful creature, the Troll, provides a sizable structure damage bonus, which can aid in toppling towers and soldier barracks. Keep constant pressure on the base and make use of the healing Athalas flowers that regenerate nearby. When the flanking towers fall, Focus all of your resources on the base. Bring it down to claim victory. Victory! There are many ways to play. Share your tips and strategies in the comments below or at guardiansofmiddleearth.com, Facebook, and Twitter.